Meet Bamboo. Cookie nip has the same effect on people that catnip has on cats. <laughs> Hence the name cookie nip. Let's start at the beginning. Michelle Gowan is a baker and a retired educator. So I thought if I could teach anybody anything, I'd like to teach people how to make cookies. And then I So thought, she taught cookie school, at first to her friends, and then tons of other folks. These folks used a commercial flavoring in their recipes, a little something extra besides plain vanilla. You know the old saying, necessity is the mother of invention? Well, that's kind of where Michelle was in life. Cookie Nip came along because she was using a flavor company, and she kept using it and using it, and finally they ran out of product. She kept talking about making her own flavor, and I said, you know what, where are you with that? I don't know much, but let me try to help you with it. And Mark Lipson went from cookie school student to Cookie Nip 50-50 partner. So He's a higher level math teacher. Uh, today we're going to be um, mixing up some cookie nip. They went through trial and error and a lot of samples before they got the perfect golden blend that mixes with the glycerin base. Formula 11 is cookie nip. It is a buttersweet blend of vanilla bean and salted caramel. Our process is really a simple process. Uh, we don't have big mixing vats with uh, hydraulic pumps that pump bottles. They went from a few bottles to about 30 gallons a week. The nips attracted humans from all over the world. We, we have sold and shipped to all 50 states and two foreign countries, correct? Well, that's great, but there is an even bigger goal. My ultimate goal would be to get in a hobby or grocery store. So an idea that began out of need in a Perry kitchen is leading to sweet success around the world. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News.